So when I'm tempted with sin, this is a new pattern. It's a pattern I've been doing for 10, 15 years now, but it's a pattern for me that I'm trying to do when I'm tempted to sin, whether I'm tempted to, um, you know, badmouth someone because they badmouth me, or I'm tempted to just walk in pride, or I'm tempted uh, with any number of things in my own life. I think to myself, Lord, <clears throat> help me. Help me to love you. Help me to cling tightly to you. Help me to choose you. I encourage you to do the same thing. When you're tempted, I want you to see that it's not just something bad that you're, you're thinking about saying or thinking about thinking or thinking about doing. I want you to actually consciously see that your heart is being tugged in the direction of some lover calling out to you. And, and you're sort of having an inclination to fulfill your desires. And I would encourage you to say, God, no, stop. This isn't just something bad I don't need to do. This is another lover. This is another thing, another God. It's something else calling out to me. And God, I want to love you. I want to be fully devoted to you. I want to give my life to you. And so help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, to be very careful to love you. And watch him deliver you from temptation when you set your sights on what's happening on the inside. I encourage you to do that. Well, it angered the Lord. And wouldn't it anger you if someone cheated on you? Wouldn't it anger you if you had made a covenant and then someone broke it? Is this just sort of like, uh, you know, it, it, it's not just that, that, he's, that he's angry um, because he's God and we're humans and we're all supposed to do what he says. It's a jealous lover's rage. So I see God here and I see his anger. What I see is hurt, and I see betrayal. And I see a God that, if I didn't know any better, so foolishly making himself vulnerable to humans so as to be able to be hurt by them. Is that just nuts? This is our God. Strong enough to make himself vulnerable to us to say, I'm going to make a covenant with you and I'm going to love you and I'm going to show you my love. I'm going to show you my goodness. And all I want really is for a life devoted to me and together we're going to cultivate. Together we're going to flourish. I, I, there's just nothing more beautiful than that. There's not a romantic story ever been written more romantic than the passionate pursuit of God for his people, for his children, and the passionate anger and betrayal that God experiences every time we choose other lovers. Don't do it, church. I feel like Joshua at the end of his life too. Don't turn away from the one who loves you. See his love, repent. Turn from the things that are destroying you, from the things that are getting in the way of your relationship with God and getting in the way of your relationship with others and follow him wholeheartedly. It's so good.